Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because it is time for another Kringle Candle Haul. Now, full disclosure, these were not sent to me in PR from Kringle, but they do an awesome program for ambassadors where they allow us during certain times to pre-order the candles that are going to launch at a discount. So, I did order all six of the new candles, and they arrived early enough for me to burn one, sniff them around, and film a video for you guys, because these will be launching on June 20th. So, on June 20th at noon Eastern time, and something that I love that Kringle's doing is <clears throat> they always listen to feedback, and a lot of people, like, in the West Coast, like my friend Katie and Melanie, are really, were struggling because noon in... Eastern time, or uh, they used to be 9 a.m. Eastern time, and 9 a.m. Eastern time was like 6 a.m., and that's really early for some people to get up and purchase candles. So, anyway, I love that they're doing them at noon now. It gives everybody a good chance. It's 9 a.m. in the West Coast, noon on the East Coast. So, <clears throat> anyway, you all know my absolute love for the Kringle Reserve line candles. It brought us our infamous jelly donut, uh, sweet cream, sprinkled macarons. So many great fragrances are in the reserve line. And in Kringle fashion, they have launched even more and are extending the line. Now, there are six in the line. I've burned one. And the other ones I will get to, obviously. But <clears throat> I just wanted to share, I sound a little under the weather because I am a little under the weather. I don't really know why I wasn't around anyone sick. I don't really feel 100%, but like I have like a sore throat, a little stuffy nose, and like I've been super tired the last couple days. No matter what, I haven't gone to the gym, anything. So I don't really know what's up with that, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about sharing some new candles. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, starting out with the one that after looking, well, there were two fragrances that when I initially saw the launch, I was like, I am so excited for these ones. And the first one is Caramel Cocoa and Toasted Fluff. Now look at that label. You have this delicious looking coffee drink, even though there's no coffee in the notes, but has this mason jar, lots of marshmallow fluff, chocolate sauce, caramel, like the label looks absolutely decadent. And I've been saying that the Kringle Reserve line is perfect for my aesthetic. I love the bright, vibrant image on the black background. It really just makes the photo just pop. And, uh, and I love the translucent black glass. Now something new that is on these reserve candles as well are fragrance notes. So there are fragrance notes. Can I focus there? There are fragrance notes on the bottom of the candles now, which is super exciting. So caramel, cocoa, and toasted fluff is caramel, chocolate, marshmallow, vanilla cream, and caramel sweet. Now, I was really shocked. I thought this candle would be a lot stronger than it was. And now I obviously have not burned it, and we will discuss the insane wicks on these new candles, which, yeah, we will discuss. But anyway, it's a very sweet, buttery caramel with marshmallow. When I smell this candle, you know how you can obviously buy, like, Jet Puff marshmallows at the grocery store for your s'mores? Or you can sit there and make homemade marshmallows. And typically, like... I remember watching Barefoot Contessa, my girl Ina Garten, make homemade marshmallows in like a 9x13 pan. And then after she cut them, she rolled them in powdered sugar. And I could just picture what those homemade marshmallows smell like. This smells like a homemade marshmallow. Like, forget anything that had a marshmallow note in a candle. This is the ultimate marshmallow candle rolled in like powdered sugar and caramel. That rich, delicious caramel. As far as cocoa goes, I'm not really getting a ton of a cocoa or a chocolate note. Maybe if it's a cocoa powder, like a very light chocolate powder, but if you don't like chocolate candles, definitely don't hesitate on this one. It doesn't smell like a chocolate candle. 
It's just a really decadent, rich, powder sugar, marshmallowy fragrance. Now, the Wicks. Now, I have not burned this one, but I know my friend Katie has, and Melanie over at Mr. Kong's Mom. These Wicks, I don't know why Kringle is experimenting with Wicks on these guys, too. Why, fit, uh, why change something that isn't broken? Everybody raves about the incredible burn on the Kringle candles, and... The Reserve Line candles have been burning flawlessly for the last couple years. And now, all of a sudden, they're changing the wicks, and the flames are massive. Like, before, I could light a Kringle Reserve for six hours. Now, I can barely light it for three without them getting to be, like, flamethrowers. Th and with this one in particular, it might be altering the fragrance. I, I don't know if that's the case. But anyway, I don't know why they're changing it. I wish they would just stick with it, but in that case, <coughs> I recommend that you trim these wicks because these are massive. I mean, they're a good two inches long, and whenever I lit this one for the first time, I could only light it for an hour without trimming because the flames got so, so high. So, And I know Katie discussed this in a couple of her videos. I will just say briefly... People talk about ambassadors, like, not telling the truth or glorifying things that aren't true. I don't know, again, who that is because all of us on YouTube say it how it is. I'm not going to say these are perfect because they're just not. But I feel like every brand has great things and everything. every brand has things I wish they didn't. And as ambassadors, we're ambassadors because we love the brand. We can offer you a discount code and... If you use it, awesome. We get a commission on that. But it's not because we're, you know, glorifying and saying that everything is peaches and cream because it just really isn't. So, I mean, I'm saying that too. Like, these candles are not perfect. Uh, some of them are, but not all of them. So, yeah, I bought these guys with my own money. Yes, I got them at a discount, but I'm going to review them honestly, even if they were in PR. Now, speaking of... I might be the odd person out. I hate grilled PB&J. I love a peanut butter and jelly candle. I love a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I loved this candle on cold. Oh, uh, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay. The notes are peanut butter, grape, raspberry, nut, and sugar. Okay. The label is amazing. It is a delicious peanut butter and jelly sandwich fresh off of the grill. Now... I've burned this candle about halfway. Well, no, about a quarter of the way. It's right here. And the first burn, I'm like, something smells burnt. Now, if you remember the charred pineapple candle that I talked about, it's not the same as charred pineapple in any way. It just smells like if you took a grilled cheese sandwich. I know this is a grilled cheese reference and not a grilled PB&J. I've never had a grilled PB&J, so I can't speak on the comparison, but... When you have a grilled cheese sandwich on a, on a pan and you're cooking it, after like 10 minutes, you're like, oh my God, at least for me, I'm a terrible cook. I'll admit it. I, I don't cook. I don't, I'm not a good cook. I don't find any interest in it. It actually just annoys me. And I end up just getting takeout after because I'm so over it. But what I notice is if I forget the grilled cheese or if I cook it too long on one side, you smell that burnt white bread. And it's specifically like white bread, like cheap loaf white bread. If you burn it on the stove, that's all I can smell in this when you're when it's burning. It actually makes me nauseous and I have to blow out the candle. Like, I hated charred pineapple. I might hate this one even more. It just smells like burnt bread. And I wish it didn't. I wish it was this beautiful, rich, delicious grilled peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But it just smells burnt. And I don't know if it has to do with the wicks. Because I told you, if I burn this too long, like, I know Mick always write, says that these are self-trimming wicks. The mushrooms on here, let's see. I would never be able to not trim these wicks. Those mushroom tops are big on here, and it would just explode, the candle. There's no way I could ever not burn this. So I wish I liked this. But it just smells burnt to me whenever I burn it. Again, I'm not going to lie to you guys. That's how I feel personally. Try it. See what you think. I know others love it. It's just not one for me. 
So it makes me sad because I want to love it. I really want to love it, and I just don't. Next, we have Gingered Peach. Now, again, a really fun label. We have this beautiful, rich, juicy peach sliced open with a huge pit in the middle. Peach, nectar, apricot, spice, sweet cane sugar. Now, okay, this is interesting. I've been smelling this for a while, and I don't smell any ginger. It just smells like a peach candle. Like, if this just said peach, I'd be like, yeah, it just smells like a fruity, juicy peach fragrance. I wish I could say more. I don't have anything else to say. It just smells like a peach candle. Peach, nectar, and apricot, maybe. Spice? No. And I know I've certainly seen some people say that they really smell the ginger. Ginger is a note I do not like. Like, that Bath & Body Works ginger and Hinoki candle, oh, I couldn't. It smelled like ginger so strong. This, I don't smell any ginger. And I, I, I'm not sick. I wasn't sick when I initially got these, and it smells exactly the same. Like, I can still smell fine. Yeah, I don't know. It just smells like a peach candle to me. So I'm excited to burn this, especially with summer being here. And it's going to be like 95 degrees this next week. Oh, pray for me. I hate the heat. So I will be burning that one. Staying inside in the AC. Next, another one where the label is super fun. We have Merlot. And the notes on Merlot are grape, berry, currant, sweet, and berry sugar. This smells like grape juice. I remember that a lot of people said that the uh, California Cab smelled like grape juice. This, to me, smells like straight-up grape juice, like Welch's grape juice. I really like this. A really thick-skinned grape, really tart, really juicy. I actually think the Merlot and the peach would be really nice together. A really conceptual, like, more elegant, elevated, fruity fragrance. So I really like this one. I don't really love grape fragrances, so I will admit I was very nervous when I first heard about these, but I was like, "Give me, a, get, let me give it a shot, and I do really like it. It does not smell like medicine, like cough syrup or anything. It just smells like an elegant, elevated, really fancy, thick grape juice, so almost like a grape emulsion. All right, now on to the two that I just adore. And if you would have told me five years ago these would have been my favorite candles out of a collection, I would think you're crazy. The first one is Bonfire. Now, talk about an obsession of label. That all black background. We have the bonfire here with the flames. And then you have just the embers flying in the air here. Beautiful. The notes are wood, pepper, cardamom, ginger, amber, and fir. Oh my gosh, I love this. I have told you that over the last year, more masculine, warm, woodsy, like high-end furniture store fragrances are really my jam. And this is no exception. This is great. If you like those really warm, rich, fiery fragrances, give this a try. But it smells like an elegant fire. Like, this smells like if Pottery Barn had a fire candle, that's what it would smell like. It does not smell like you stuck your head in a bonfire. It does not smell like your clothes smell after you've been sitting at a bonfire for a couple hours. You know how that smell is like infused in your clothes? It's not like that at all. It's a really rich, dare I say, perfumey version of a bonfire. I know that sounds crazy because it's not a perfume fragrance, but... It's almost like if I had a cologne or a body wash that was called Bonfire, that's kind of what this smells like. A very conceptual, very well-rounded, smooth version of a fire fragrance. I really like this. I cannot wait to start burning this one as it gets a little bit cooler outside. I think that will be perfect for that. Sorry, you guys. I just had a big coughing fit. So thank God there's only one candle left, and that is Heartwood. Again, can we talk about the labels? I mean, this label is beautiful. I love all the love all the colors of the wood, the sophistication, the smooth label. Love. Sandalwood, green, sage, spice, patchouli, and amber. Now this. Oh, 
is beautiful. Now, I actually took a trip to Deep Creek, Maryland this weekend. My friend has a home there for the summer. Well, she comes goes there most of the time in the summer, but it's hers year-round. And it's a beautiful home. So much woodwork, a live edge wood table. And when I first walked in there, this is what it smells like. It smells like high-end finished wood. I definitely get a little bit of cedar wood in here, like a cedar closet, like a really sophisticated high-end woodsy fragrance. Heartwood is more of the regular wood. Bonfire is more of that smoked fiery wood. Again, like there's not a fire note in here, but it smells like a conceptualized if there was a fire wood fragrance. Where this, it's smooth wood. It's finished wood. It's elegant wood. It's, you know, you just bought a beautiful live edge dining room table and it just got delivered to your door and you're setting it up in a room that's empty. That's what this smells like. I love. This, I think, again, will be a great bedroom fragrance in the fall. Who knows? I might light it up tonight. I do love this so, so much. If you like those woodsy fragrances, definitely give this a try. It's more of a smooth, sophisticated, high-end wood. So, if I could rate these, let's see. Okay, starting with my least favorite, Grow PB&J. Again, most of these are on cold. I did burn this one. That'd be six. Five would be Ginger Peach, just because I don't think it's very unique. Um, four would be Merlot. It's nice. It's a very nice grapey scent. I just like the other ones more. Um, Heartwood, just because I like it. I'll burn this whole one, but I don't think it's one that I would constantly want in my rotation. Number two, Caramel Cocoa and Toasted Fluff. It's delicious. And number one, Bonfire. I just love this. I cannot wait to burn this and see how it transforms in my house. So those were the six new reserve candles. Let me know if you're going to pick up any of these. Again, it launches on June 20th at noon Eastern time. Feel free to use my code DREWYOK15 to save yourself 15% off. It is an affiliate link, and I do earn commission if you use that link, and I greatly appreciate it. As always, make it a better world. Be kind. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. I'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye.